Hello everyone, Super Duper Boy here, and we are officially in Halloween, which means I must do a Halloween special. So of course, what better way to celebrate Halloween than to talk about some very spooky animals. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so you're probably like, really, pigeons? But, let me explain. Pigeons live in populated areas, feeding off the gross dropped human food. I guess you could say they live among us. <laughs> Anyways, you know, they are pretty chill and all. At least that's what they want you to think. They could betray humanity at any moment. Just imagine walking through an alley at night with a pretzel or something, and then getting attacked by a swarm of killer pigeons. Very spooky. You know, sloths are pretty harmless animals. They are slow and can't really do anything. They're pretty lame if we're being honest. But did you know that they weren't always like this? There used to be a species of sloth called Megatherium that was 20 feet tall with giant claws. Think about that. 20 feet is like taller than a giraffe. Everything used to be bigger in the past and sloths are no exception. The Megatherium went extinct because I guess it was way too overpowered. But is it really extinct? The last ones died out only 12,000 years ago, which is really not that long in Earth's history standards. Can you really verify that there isn't one in the forest next to your home right now? How did this horse get up there? Why is it there? What does it want? We don't understand so much about this image, and what we don't un and what we don't understand is what makes it so spooky. Or it's just a funny horse, I don't know. No matter how spooky or powerful something is, there it will always be a fruit uh, there will always be a few rules it will follow that all living things have in common one it must be born two it must eat and drink and three it must die but what if i told you that one of these steps doesn't actually apply to the creature i'm about to talk about this animal can theoretically live forever what is this beast i'm talking about it's a jellyfish the size of a pinky fingernail but what's so spooky is that if this jellyfish is about to die, it can restart its life back into a jellyfish egg or something. I'm not gonna explain the science of it, go read Wikipedia or something. Oh, but you see, Wikipedia isn't a reliable source. Sh sh shut up. If you're wondering what this animal is called, its name is Turatopsis dohurni. Why does the spelling have two eyes? Yeah, that name is garbage, I'm just gonna keep calling it immortal jellyfish. Anyways, it is now time for number one. Okay, so the animal I'm about to talk about is the most terrifying thing to ever live. Turn back now if you can't handle it. Alright, you are still here. The most spooky animal is... Animals. In 1930s Australia, a bunch of farmers had to make crops because of the Great Depression. But the problem was that the freaking emus kept eating and crushing all the wheat. So how did the government respond? The government actually declared war on em on the emus, but it was mostly a pointless. But it was mostly pointless because only around 900 of the 20,000 emus died. The reason for the small death toll is because some of the emus took around 10 bullets and survived. They probably had protection for netherite armor. Who needs tanks when you have emus? But you may be asking, why are emus so spooky? Well, do you really think they have forgotten about the hundreds of their brothers and sisters slaughtered in the war? Do you really think they're gonna let humanity get away with it? No, they will take their revenge, and the day it happens is soon. Prepare before it is too late. 